Hey everybody, it's Suzanne Titkemeyer. You know who I am. I used to write for Pathios for 10 years, a column called No Longer Quivering, looking at the quiverful movement, examining non-denominational evangelical troublesome high demand groups. So this is going to be a very brief one. If you could do the YouTube things, I'd appreciate it. This is just my opinion. Don't bully anybody I'm talking about here at all. So today was the official release of Ginger Duggar Volo's book. I had to read it earlier in the week. I had a press copy. I read it. And I'm watching people complaining online about the book. So I just have to say very briefly, the book is about Ginger's rationalizations, how she got from like I said, the old cast iron skillet that was messed up to the bright, shiny ceramic skillet. Bill Gothard, ATI, IBLP. John McArthur, Grace Community Church, the Master's Seminary. And I've said there's not a tremendous amount different between the two groups. There's more in common than you would think. But this is Ginger's deconversion book. It is not a tell-all. I am seeing more and more complaints from people online who were expecting a Duggar tell-all. I don't know what you were expecting. Ginger always said that this was about her journey. And it is. It's her spiritual journey. This is her deconversion journey. Every one of us goes through this. There's... A group of pastors I've been hanging around with lately on Twitter that I absolutely adore. One of them is Kevin, I think is DeYoung. He has said some of the most common sense things about deconversion and points out what a journey it is and how we go from A, B, C on every which way. It's a lifetime journey. You know, there are some people that are stay. They hit the one church they enjoy. They think it's the true church of God. And they're happily staying there. And then there are people who walk on. Who come to various realizations. And they walk on. They move on. Their understanding of God. Their understanding of theology. It shifts. It changes. As life takes you on this journey. Down the mis mighty Mississippi. And off to the weird little places. So... I just wanted to point that out because I, I had to use this analogy when I separated myself from Vicki Garrison because for a long time we were we were in the same stream going the same way. I went left, she went right. She's in Albania, I'm in Costa Rica. We had a falling out about money. We also both had very different relationships with money than each other. And that was a primary disconnect between the two of us. So these things happen, and as you're going along, life is going to happen. People are going to come in and out of your, your life, like to quote Stephen King, like busboys in a restaurant. The best you can do is hang on to what you know and work on yourself and become happier and happier. And that's what I see Ginger is doing here. That's what the book is about. If you're interested, if you're genuinely interested in her spiritual journey, it's a book I would recommend. If you're not, if you're just trying to get Duggar Goss, you just want to see a tell-all, then you are going to be vastly disappointed in this book. And guess what? You probably should be. If you're looking just for Duggar Gossip, shame on you. Shame on you. Okay, so I know the family was, was in the media for a long, long time. The parents had a television show. They no longer are. They're private citizens. So exactly why you have certain groups of people who are incredibly focused on them, both negative and positive, when they've stepped back from their public lives and they're now private citizens. Okay, so Ginger's written several books. This one with a um, with a ghost writer is my understanding. Um, she has written one with her husband. She wrote a children's book. Big deal. This is how she is 
decided to share herself with the world. It doesn't mean that <clears throat> her entire life and that of her family should be open for discussion. I mean, we had enough of that during the various and sundry scandals of one Josh Duggar. I don't know. I talked about it too. I wrote about it for Pathos, but like I said, the time it was a television reality show and they were all in the media. Not so now. Please let this family heal from all the crap they've been through. You don't like their their stances on politics or religion or anything else? That's fine. You don't have to. That's what's so wonderful about the U.S. We're all entitled to make our own dumb mistakes. And I don't know about you guys, but I make dumb mistakes all the damn time. <laughs> the dumbest I made was the other day I walked into a building that I could smell the mold and I didn't turn around and run. So I'm kind of filled with my asthma right now, but I felt inclined to come on here and rant about this. Because I'm seeing a certain creator making hay where the sun doesn't shine and saying all kinds of ridiculous things. I'm seeing people crying and ranting and acting like it's the end of the world because they don't like the book because it's not a tell-all. I'm seeing what can only be classified as some very bad behavior. <sighs> I don't like Duggar Huggers much, but let me tell you something. The people that go after them hard all of the time, not too crazy about them either. Particularly since it's a um, group with so much gossip. There's been all sorts of things said through the years. Some true, some untrue. There are people around the Duggars that call themselves unnamed Duggar insiders that come up with and say just tons of crap. And most of it's not true. Smart money all right, people with actual training in journalism and or reporting know better than to publish a rumor without any kind of supporting evidence because they know they can be held accountable for that if the person they're talking about wanted to sue for defamation. But some people, they miss the boat on that. They just keep on, they keep flapping their gums. They keep sharing every random rumor that comes their way. They believe every person that pops up in their email box and feeds and says, I'm a Duggar insider. I'm a Duggar, I'm a Duggar brother. I'm a Duggar this. They believe every single one of them and they take it all as truth with doing, well, doing zero research to verify any damn thing. I don't know you guys. I'm disgusted and sick. So I'm going back to bed, but I just had to come on here and rant. I'll do a full review of the book probably on Saturday. But for now, just know it is all about her spiritual journey only. It's not a tell-all, nor should it be.